Hmm. Well, I can say up front that this one is much better than the last two piles of crap, but I still can't say it's a very good movie. Is it good? Eh, kinda. So, what's the story? Well, it's about this woman who's trying to become a reporter and get this big story about this burning lady who fell out of a building. And when she's trying to get the story, then she runs into this other lady who turns out is part of this cult and now is initiating her. Ha, <laughs> get it? Because of the title. Ha, <laughs> ha, cheeky pass. Okay. And now it's up to this girl to try and stop this cult. So, I don't really know why it's called the Silent Night, Deadly Night, because it doesn't have, it barely has anything to do with Christmas outside of one scene, and even then that one scene is very, very brief. And the rest of it is kind of just okay. It's very weird. I'll, we have a, I'll put it that way. When you have Screaming Mad George here, as well as Clint Howard, you should expect weird. There's a lot of weird bug shit. There's a lot of weird effects that are definitely going to give you flashbacks to society. Not to the level of the shunting, but still. Very, very recognizable style. Uh, the story itself is okay. It does a decent job, but there are some moments that definitely drag, and the cinematography is not great. There was something on my camera. Um, yeah, the cinematography here isn't great. It still feels very low budget, very... Like, very rushed out for a DVD release. But, granted, unlike the first two... Unlike the first two sequels, which was just insulting, this one is passable. It's harmless. Like, it's not a horrible watch by any means, but I wouldn't blame you if you skip it. It doesn't really have anything to do with the overall story of the, of the series. Whatever overall story there was. But it was a nice reset. It was a good back to basics movie, and it does have some pretty decent kills. So, you know what? It's not a bad film, but I can't really say it's that good either. I'd say Final Verdict is a solid 6 out of 10. I'm glad I saw it, and I'm glad that it exists, and I'm glad it is a much, much needed improvement from the god awful pile of shit we had to look at yesterday. But I still can't call it really good like rewatchable every christmas kind of good but you know what it's harmless it's fine it's just fine now part five on the other hand hmm part five is gonna be batshit insane so i'll see you guys tomorrow for that review but until then thank you guys for watching i'm jack small you're only cynical saying 77 and i'll see you guys next time for another season slashings take care guys